the V12 uh, in motion. The long-awaited 16-inch powerhouse that is going to take your commute to the next level. This right here, my friends, is something that I have absolutely had a blast on, and I am absolutely thrilled to be a part of the first people in the world to ever get my hands on a unit like this. This actually is the first production unit in the United States right here, and it is a very unique wheel. This right here is something that I did not expect myself enjoying quite as much as I have over the past two weeks with it. I've really, really had fun on this thing, guys, and it is something that we have to talk about, and we need to go over the highlights of this thing, where it shines, what are the problems with it, what do I like about it, what do I don't like about it, you know? I'm going to go into three different departments with these unicycles from now on, and I'm going to talk about your road riding, I'm going to talk about your off-road door trail riding. This is your hard stuff, rocky, chunky routes. This is your unmaintained trails I'm going to be talking about. And then we're going to be talking about your bike park dynamics. So I'm talking about your jumps, your hard packed terrain, your berms, your little trick stuff you want to work on, you know. Your more of your little one wheel type park stuff that you want to work on with this. Stuff like this right here. Anyways, let's go into it. And I'm going to be giving it a Tooch score, just like a Doug score, like with Doug DeMuro that does the car reviews, we're going to be giving this a Tooch score in the three different departments. So with this wheel right here, guys, it is very unique, and for any of you fellas coming from, you know, those 19-inch wheels all the way up to, say, those 24-inch Monster Pros, you may even be riding an 18-inch wheel still, my V3S fellas out there. Anyways, what do I like about this wheel, and what do you need to expect? whenever you're coming from those other larger wheels. I'm going to be talking more in the light of somebody that's coming from the larger wheels to this wheel because that's what I'm thinking a lot of the enthusiasts are going to be doing. So if you're getting this as your first wheel, some of the things I say about the larger wheels that pertain to this wheel, you can kind of annex that. But you can still listen because it's good advice. Anyways, this wheel right here in the bike park score setting Bike parks, as in hard pack stuff, jumps, stuff like that. I think you guys out there that are doing the high flying stuff up in Seattle, I'm sorry I missed out on that, guys. Looks like y'all are having a hell of a good time up there. But the jumps, the stuff in the woods, the wooden bike jumps, stuff like that, where you really need that instant torque, where you kind of need to go slow up to it and then have that instant torque once you're lined up on your jump or whatever. This right here is it, dude. It is really, really a fun wheel. And if you're a guy that wants to do those little flares, you know, where you throw a little flare in there, uh, kick it sideways a little bit, you know, like a tail whip on a dirt bike, this wheel will do it, man. And it'll almost do it too much. Y'all will see coming up here in a minute whenever this thing throws me on the ground because I'm so used to a heavier wheel. I'm used to that veteran Sherman, that EXN those type of wheels, and like I said guys, I love them for what they're used for. They're used for that long haul, you know, that, that high power long haul stuff where you really gotta go, you know, you need that, that power and that range there. But for stuff like this, this is like, you know, this right here is like a little high power S18 with no suspension is what it is, and it really is fun. For some of you guys out there that have gotten used to a wheel with no suspension, and you like doing that bike park stuff on it, this is a little, small, aggressive, really, really quick to accelerate wheel that you can really get good at your 360s, your little tail whips, whatever you want to improve on in that bike park setting. And that's why I got to give it a solid 10 in the bike park scenario, okay? When we're moving on into trail riding with this wheel, when we're going into that, that chunky, you know, Rocky Mountain type trails where you got, you know, boulders on the side of the trail, you got stumps, you have different type of terrain, you know, that can be those pedal grabber. They can stick up and just hit that pedal and you're going down. This, even though with this wheel right here, you see right here, I'm going to get back to my point. You see right here, whenever I skid it in right here, this is why you need to always carry your pump with you guys. I got two the bike park. I didn't have my pump with me. I borrowed somebody else's pump after removing too much air, and then his pump gauge was messed up. And my tire pressure was wrong all day, guys. So I'm gonna link in my Amazon store below, 
a few miniature pumps that you can put in your backpack, your fanny pack, whatever it may be, just so you don't get caught in the situation where I was, where I'm sitting there screwing around trying to figure out my tire pressure the whole day. And with a 16 inch wheel, it is far different what you're gonna to wanna to run your tire pressure at as opposed to your Sherman, as opposed to your M Super Pro, as opposed to your RST. You are going to want to change what your tire pressure is from those wheels. It is just different, guys. It is very different. You see right here, this wheel is, is getting used to it, man. It is fast, it is aggressive, and right there you see that? That was a corner where I always need to tail whip a little bit in order oh, to dude, so round that little left-hand leg right there that you saw. And with that wheel, I literally, this wheel is so light and so powerful, I went into that corner and over tail whipped it, essentially. If you want to call it that on this wheel, I over tail whipped it. I went completely sideways on it, and it, and that just shows, guys, that, I mean, that's not a bad thing, and it didn't get messed up at all, man. This little thing is mad durable, guys. I've had a few hard slams on it. And the bumpers they put on the front of this thing, that little, I don't know what kind of type of rubber that is on the front and back that this little um, visor bumper is they put on it, but it is good, dude. This thing has hit the ground hard several times, and it has hit the ground hard in like where it flipped over like twice trail riding. And that LCD screen didn't even get scratched up or anything, guys. And I think I might make something to actually go around that. Like I did with my Sherman, I made like a little cover and you can Velcro, it's like a Velcro cover and it's raised up a little bit. So if it impacts, there's a little bit of squish there before it really hits that screen. And you could do all sort of DIY stuff that you wanna do with that to make sure that that screen doesn't get impacted. But a lot of guys aren't gonna be riding it like this. A lot of guys are gonna get this wheel and ride it in the city. And dude, we're gonna go into the city score right now. This wheel right here is a 9.6 right here as a city wheel, guys. And the reason, the only reason it does not get a solid 10, man, it hits everything nail on the head. The ease of use, getting this off of, uh, in and out of uh, the subway, off of public transport, taking this in and off the bus is gonna be so easy compared to that veteran Sherman, that Monster Pro, that EXN, whatever it may be, this is gonna be a breeze. But the only department where I'm going to go ahead and warn you on this is if you're a brand new rider getting this as your first wheel, which I suggest it because it is a hell of a good wheel to get as your first wheel. The only thing is you're going to be, need to be agile. You're going to need to be on your game and keen of all the potholes, of all the manhole covers, and all the anomalies in the roadway. And by keen, what I need you to know is just simply unweighting at the right time can save you in those situations on a smaller diameter wheel like this. So the only reason it's not going to get a solid 10 in that department is because a newer rider will, I think, be a tiny bit safer on like a 19 inch wheel, 20 inch wheel, whatever it may be that's out there just because you're not going to have to think, hey, I need to unweight over this little bump or this anomaly in the road or whatever it may be. But for all you guys out there that have been ripping that Sherman, that have been riding all those other fast wheels, and you're already an enthusiast that have other wheels, you're going to be able to get this, get a power pad set up, and this is going to be like your mean little KX65 little two-stroke ripper to go around on right here. I'm telling you, you can get the EUC side pads, the Clark Pad Gen 2s you see here, link tree below. My Amazon store is on there as well, guys. Scroll through that stuff. Look at that. And get this wheel also. Link below. Get your pre-order in now for this wheel because they're shipping out large scale in August.